Good morning, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs. And deadly medical procedures, if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, acne, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call this healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions or comments or want to share a success story, we welcome your phone calls here on the Bright Side at 855-660-4261. That's 855 855- 660-4261. We have a guest coming in at the bottom of the hour. Dr. Andre Berger will be talking about his new book, The Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Prescription. Dr. Berger is a physician in Beverly Hills and the founder of the Rejuvalife Vitality Institute, an anti-aging and cosmetic practice located in Beverly Hills. We'll be talking to him about his new book in the bottom of the hour, so we'll take your calls in our next segment at 855-660-4261. For you guys who want to learn more about the Ingevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and take a look at our shopping cart. Or you can click on the Join the Team link and start yourself a Ingevity business, make some money selling Ingevity products, and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And for a one-time $10 fee, you can start yourself a business and make some money selling Ingevity products. All right, uh, let's see what else I want to tell you here. 855-660-4261 is our number. Check out my blog, too, pharmacistben.com. We update it regularly. I have a post up there on sirtuins that we did, uh, that I did yesterday, and then uh, I'll be writing about enzymes here either today or tomorrow, and that's at pharmacistben.com. All right, so I want to continue with our discussion on digestive enzymes, the digestive process in general. Later on, we're going to be talking about some different kinds of proteins. This is all as it regards protein, protein metabolism, the importance of protein. I still hear people talking about how we get too much protein and you don't need so much protein. People like T. Colin Campbell wrote the book, The, the, uh, the, China, the China Diet. I think he calls it The China Diet. I forgot the name of that book. Uh, but anyway, guys like T. Colin Campbell and uh, Robert Young talk about how we eat too much protein. We don't eat so much protein, and Americans get too much protein, blah, blah, blah. Well, in my opinion, we don't get enough protein. And for the last month or so, we've been talking about the importance of dietary protein and uh, lately about digestive enzymes. Enzymes uh, are involved in all of the metabolism of the body, all the chemistry of the body. Most of the protein in the body is enzyme Uh, either digestive enzymes or metabolic enzymes. Enzymes are active at a certain acid level, a certain pH level. Each of the many thousands of enzymes in the body are active at specific pH levels. The enzymes that digest protein are active at an acidic pH like you would find in stomach acid. Makes sense. This is why you want to use apple cider vinegar with your digestive enzymes. And this is one of the main reasons why apple cider vinegar is so, so important for the digestive system in general. In general, it acidifies the stomach. So digestive enzymes are more likely to be activated. And it's an important reason for the health implications of low stomach acid, or as it's known as hypochlorhydria. Hypo means low, chlorhydria, hydrochloric acid, low stomach acid, hypochlorhydria. Stomach acid is important stuff. GERD and heartburn don't mean necessarily that you're making too much acid. Acid secretion is a response. The stomach doesn't just make acid. It makes acid in response to something. And if you want to take care of an acid issue or a hyperacid issue, 
heartburn for, or GERD, you want to know why you're responding to or what you're responding to, and then you want to eliminate what you're responding to. If you've got chronic heartburn or GERD or acid issue, what you're probably looking at is some kind of reactivity that's been initiated by something you're putting into your body. Where, uh, what do you think you're putting into your body? Well, it's not something you're breathing. It's not something you're injecting. It's in your digestive system, so it's probably something you're eating. Yes, if you have heartburn, if you have GERD, if you have any kind of acid, acid reflux issues, figure out what's stimulating the acid. The response isn't to shut down the acid. This is the uh, classic example of what is wrong with our pharmacomedical model. We don't want to be shutting things down in the body. You never want to be shutting things down in the body. And this is what I call the ignorance test. If you've got a medical professional who's telling you that you've got to shut something down in the body, whether it's your heart or whether it's your blood, uh, the opening and closing of blood vessels or whether it's your immune system, if you've got a medical professional who's telling you you've got to shut down one of those systems be, to get you healthier, that is is a, what I call a classic example of a, a, a 100 score out of 100 on the ignorance test. And unfortunately, we've got a lot of medical professionals who are scoring 100 on the ignorance test. If your doctor says to you, well, we've got to shut down your acid secretion, or we've got to shut down your inflammatory system, or we've got to shut down your immune system, or we've got to shut anything down, that is, a, a, that is the iconic example of ignorance, and the pharmacomedical model seems to specialize in in ignorance. So what do you do if you got heartburn, if you got GERD, if you're making too much acid? You can take the purple pill if you're miserable. You know, uh, I'd probably take it if I was miserable. But the idea that drug companies promote that you can eat whatever you want and just knock out the acid and don't get heartburn in the first place is not a very smart idea. It may work in the short term, but in the long run, the effects of acid suppression are not good because you need acid. If you don't have acid, if you're suppressing your acid, that's going to reduce your body's ability to access nutrients, especially anabolic nutrients. That is the nutrients of growth, the nutrients of repair, the nutrients of building. All of these depend on acid, zinc, and vitamin A, and especially protein all depend on acid. And these are all your, your nutrients, your substances of building. You want to suppress building? Suppress acid. If you want to suppress your digestive enzyme activity, suppress acid. Digestive enzymes need acid. Even worse, acid in foods that's secreted out of glands in the stomach, acid in, uh, acid in uh, the, I should say, the digestive system, foods that have been coated with acid in the stomach, turn on the pancreas, turn on the gallbladder, and if you're suppressing stomach acid, you're also suppressing pancreatic enzymes, and you're also doing a number on your gallbladder and probably bile too. Not good, not smart, no matter what Larry the Cable Guy tells you. Not a good idea. Now, when we talk about enzymes, we talk mostly about stomach enzymes, but the master Master enzyme manufacturing system in the body, the headquarters for the production of digestive enzymes, is not the stomach, it's the pancreas. How interesting is that? we got 100 million Americans dealing with diabetic issues or pre-diabetic issues, which in many ways are a pancreas issue. Pancreatic cancer is the most deadly of all cancers. This is because the pancreas is the key enzyme manufacturing entity in the body. When food passes through the stomach and enters into the intestine, what's supposed to happen is the pancreas is supposed to blast that food that is dropped into the intestine with a big hit of digestive enzymes. And the pancreas is stimulated to secrete its, its digestive enzymes by acid. It's the low pH of the food that drops into the intestine from the stomach that triggers that blast of digestive enzymes that's coming in from the pancreas. If you're on Nexium or you're on any antacids, that's not going to happen as effectively, and that will eventually throw off bacteria in the gut. This is what accounts for loose stools and diarrhea and stomach cramping, all of which are common side effects of Nexium and Prilosec and, and uh, generally speaking, antacid types of drugs. All right, got more to say about acid and enzymes and digestive health and wellness, and we'll take your phone calls as well. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back after this. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. 
and we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855-308-8326. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. Gold is like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. We're back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here. We are here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. Bottom of the hour, we're talking to Dr. Andre Berger about his book, The Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Prescription. We'll take your calls this segment at 855-660-4261. Carl, Truth Raider in Oregon. Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. What's going on? Good morning, pharmacist Ben. Good to talk to you. Good health day to you. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, I had a question for you uh, a few days ago, and it's gone away now. But it's 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 a phenomenal dermatological question. Why do I get these rust spots on my hand when I handle certain types of fast foods? 
Uh, I wouldn't relate those two. You know, by the time, it, you, if, unless it's a rash or some kind of allergic reaction, typically it takes a while for things to show up on the skin. Now, aller- allergic reactions, we have redness, that's different. Uh, that can happen pretty quickly. But rough patches on the skin, that can show up over the course of long-term digestive system abuse or eating eating the wrong kinds of foods long term, but it's not going to happen short term. Are you describing like an eczema patch kind of thing or how are you? No, there's no irritation in the spot. It just looks like I, like like some dye spots that are on my hands. Uh Like Like a redness. Not red, no, they're kind of like brownish or rusty colored spots. What, What are you eating anyway? Uh, I went to Taco Bell. I, you know, I, I occasionally get weak, <laughs> so I, I go. I went to the uh, what they call the happy hour, yeah. and they have the, these uh, grilled burritos. Some of them are pretty good. There's one's a load of potato. The other one's like a, a chicken buffalo ranch, spicy buffalo ranch. The other one is a ground kind of a ground beef type of uh, burrito. I, and I don't want to hear anymore. Dollars. That's enough. That's enough. That's making me sick already. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I can't tell you. I I don't know what that would be. Now, red, as I say, if there's any redness, any vasodilation, blood vessel opening up, then you're definitely looking at an allergic reaction. As far as roughness goes, that's more like a barrier issue, and you're not going to really be able to affect the barrier instantly. It takes four to eight weeks for that barrier to form, so you're, it's going to be a month to two months before anything you're doing internally shows up on the skin barrier on the surface. So I wouldn't make that, that I wouldn't make a connection there. Remember, as we always say, causa- uh, association is not causation. Just because two things are associated doesn't mean that there's a causal relationship. So it doesn't sound like that, that, that there's a there's something one is causing the other, that the food is causing that kind of reaction. Although, if you want to shoot me a, uh, a message with a, uh, a text message with a picture of your hands, that would be helpful. I'd like to see that. Other than that, I can't tell you. Um, yeah. but as, far as, as far as the hands go and as far as the skin goes, rough patches, think fats. Dry skin, think fats and fatty vitamins. That's essential fatty acids, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, as well as enzymes that help you process the fats. i got to move, Carl. Is there anything else you got to talk to? I want to get a couple more guys in. A yeah, the, more calls the, in. The, the questions did accumulate. You were talking about nascent iodine for one, oh, yeah. and yeah, then yeah. magnesium. I was wondering what foods are the best to eat. Magnesium? To get, to get your magnesium. Green. Magnesium is green in color. It, whenever you see a green food or you, whenever you see green anything, you're looking at magnesium. String beans, beans in general, green leafy vegetables, all, all your greens are green because of magnesium. You'll get magnesium in organ meats also. Uh, you'll get magnesium in nuts and seeds, but the best source of magnesium is going to be greens and green leafy vegetables. Thank you, Carl. I apologize for drop, uh, dropping you off there because I want to take as many calls as I can. Ahmad in California. Is that how you say it? Ah- Ahmad? How do you say your name? Ahmad. Ahmad. Ahmad, huh? yes, sir. How are you, Ben? Good morning. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. How can we help you? Okay. So I started listening to you a little while back on the Alex Jones show. Okay. And was very impressed. Once I started all the Beyond Tank and Handering and everything, I changed my complete diet. Yeah. Um, how, how you doing? A, oh, excellent. How's it working? Excellent. Yeah, you notice some changes? Good. You notice some changes? Oh, good deal. Basically, I cut all the grains out of my diet. Smart. That made a huge, huge, huge difference. Nice. How, how, I, real I, quick, t- real quick, give me a couple things that, that you notice different, different about your body when you drop the grains. Well, first off, I never feel bloated. Period. Nice. Okay. Like, good. I always used to feel bloated after almost every meal. Yeah. And I honestly don't feel it. Um, nice. One problem is I do feel kind of hungry sometimes. Okay. But I try to drink a lot of water. Protein. I try to drink a get lot on of- a get on a good pro when you when you're feeling hungry, uh, that you get on protein, a uh, whey protein, the One World Whey or eggs, some kind of good protein, and that's extremely satisfying and extremely filling. Not just because it fills your stomach, but also because it activates uh, satiety centers, satisfaction centers in the brain. I didn't mean to distract you there. Real, what, how can we help you? I want to I want to uh, get no, some calls in. No, no problem. So basically. Um, I just wanted to ask you, um, what other things besides the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Pollen Burst should I get? I'm going to buy the, the Nathan Iodine um, okay. very soon. So what are you trying to accomplish? Months. What do you want to accomplish? Honestly, I'm five foot ten. I'm 195 okay. pounds. I was fluctuated from 215 to 220. Okay. I lost a good bit of weight when I started the diet. But basically, 
I want to have as low as body fat percentage okay, got and it. the ma- maximum amount of muscle without, okay. you know. I want Good to do question. Right way. I want Good to question. You're gonna, we're going to help a lot of people with this. Number one, get yourself in the gym, but you don't need to do a lot of uh, not a lot of weightlifting, bodybuilding exercises. Just 10 or 15 minutes a day, three or four days a week. Less than an hour a week is all you need to do. But you got to do intense training. You got to do your repetitions really, really slowly. It should take you about 30 seconds to do one repetition with a bench press or or a curl or a squat. Any kind of uh, any of your exercises should take around 20 to 30 seconds, and that's both directions. 20 to 30 seconds on the up uh, if you're doing curls on the on the way up and 20 to 30 seconds on the way down if you do it that way you can only do maybe two or three reps and that'll take you less than a minute to do uh, the second thing is you want to do is when you come home from the gym make sure you're doing all your anabolic nutrients especially protein vitamin a uh, zinc and essential fatty acids you may want to throw in some creatine and this is when you come home from the gym all right, and then in the middle of the day as well, do a, a anabolic nutrition in the middle of the day too, and that'll keep you from all of the pro-inflammatory eating the pro-inflammatory body-destroying foods like the sugars and the grains and the refined carbohydrates. So you're going to uh, come home from the gym, do protein, creatine, vitamin A, zinc. And there's probably a few others, but that's a good a good start. Essential fatty acids also. And then the middle of the day, maybe once or twice, at least once, but maybe even twice in the middle of the day, you do the same thing. Uh, that alone will make a huge anabolic difference. If you have any bowel problems or digestive problems, you want to make sure that you're addressing those. Probiotics, digestive acids, and digestive enzymes can be very, very helpful in that regard. And if you have any inflammation going on, you want to make sure you're doing anti-inflammatory nutrients like vitamin E, alpha-lipoic acid, as well as your minerals like uh, magnesium, which which is very, very anti-inflammatory, and selenium. You probably want to throw in some MSM sulfur, which is also very building for connective tissue. There's so much more you can do, but that's a great place to start. And, Ahmad, I really appreciate you calling and sharing uh, that good information. All right, Bill in Oklahoma, got about a minute and a half. What's going on, my friend? Okay, real quick, the wife had cramps last night. We ate salad. And um, question on my our salad dressing, it's uh, Olive Garden, and we've stocked up on it, but... Uh, Soybean oil, this Yeah, I would stay away. I'd stay away from that, my friend. <laughs> Olive Garden is, okay. I think, General Foods. Some big yeah. mega food company owns Olive Garden, and and what they do is they use Olive Garden as a uh, as a distribution point for a lot of their crap foods, including the dressing. Okay. I stay away from restaurant foods in general, but especially restaurant foods that have a lot of working parts, things like dressings and and condiments and and uh, uh, soups and that kind of thing, because you don't know what they're putting in there. We had a guy yesterday talking about food chemicals and. And these big, big restaurant right, national right. companies like Ruby Tuesdays and Olive Gardens, they're, they're the biggest uh, users of these uh, food processing chemicals. Bill, I, I hate to do this to you. Okay. I know I always do it to you, it seems like. But if you call back tomorrow, we'll put you up first thing, okay, buddy? Thank you very much, Bill. I appreciate it. All right, that's all the time for calls we got. But we're going to be talking to Dr. Andres Berger about his book, The Beverly, Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Prescription, coming up at the, uh, after this break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. 
LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LeSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at LeSig.com or call 870-525-1440, 870-525-1440. LeSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Let's take care of your family and get it prepared and help us take care of our brothers and sisters in arms. From now through Veterans Day on November 11th, FreezeDryGuy.com is offering 10% off everything for active duty, reserve, and retired U.S. military members and their families. No proof necessary. It's on the honor system. In addition, for every purchase you make during this period, we'll make a donation to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Since retiring from the Army, the Freeze Dry Guy has been your trust source for freeze-dried food and dehydrated food, perfect for emergency preparedness and outdoor activities like camping. He's offering 10% off for active, reserve, and retired U.S. military and their families now through Veterans Day, plus donating to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation from every purchase. Call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD, or go to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, and it's my pleasure to welcome to the Bright Side Dr. Andre Berger, author of the Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Prescription. Dr. Berger is the founder of the Rejubilife Vitality Institute, which is an anti-aging and cosmetic practice in Beverly Hills. And Dr. Berger's got a philosophy that's very similar to mine. It's a holistic approach. It emphasizes customized care, education, and lifestyle changes, the same things we talk about every day on the Bright Side. Without further ado, welcome to the Bright Side, Dr. Berger. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing terrific, never better. Thanks so much for having me. It's a real pleasure. Thank you for being here. So, a couple things before we get into your book. First of all, what is the Rejubilife Vitality Institute? Well, uh, this is a medical practice devoted to uh, making our patients feel better, look younger, and live longer. And that's, uh, I guess, in a nutshell. Okay. Uh, of course, the question is how we do that. And uh, we do that through combination of dealing with the inside, that is to say, uh, dealing with all the issues people have 
uh, to, I guess, clean up the dirty soup their genes are swimming in. I can elaborate on that. Yeah. And then uh, also with the outside, because obviously people are looking for, uh, and for very good reason, uh, to enhance um, attractiveness. Uh, and uh, that has to do with dealing with some cosmetic uh, enhancement or improvement. And it's the combination of those two things that... Um, uh, that uh, drive us and uh, get me up every day and make me uh, uh, die to get to work and, uh, and do it. Nice. And, and what's your um, what kind of uh, what's your specialty? Do you have are you an internal guy or plastic surgery? What's the deal? Uh, well, cosmetic surgery, and uh, you know, obviously trained originally in internal medicine, clinical pharmacology. Um, I was also have been board certified in emergency medicine, okay. uh, but right now it's basically anti-aging medicine. And but right now it's, but the focus in this practice is cosmetic surgery and anti-aging medicine. Okay. Now, there's, as you know, I'm sure there's zillions of anti-aging books and and health books out there. Books written by doctors, nurses, medical professionals, non-medical professionals. What makes a couple of things that make the Beverly Hills anti-aging prescription different? Well, uh, this is a book that really is almost like a conversation. It's designed to, to explain to people what I do and how I do it uh, to uh, successfully to get my patients to achieve these goals. But it's written like if we were sitting on the other side of the desk with me in my office and we're having a conversation, I'm trying to just explain things. Also, I have built into the book some videos that you can access so with the QR codes in the book nice. and also directly uh, there's an enhanced ebook that has the the uh, videos right in there of me actually uh, talking about these things just as if you're sitting across from me and and really uh, I want to put it in a, in a kind of a more easy to understand you know uh, not uh, you know beyond comprehension you know, uh, a way so people can understand that most of the things that they can do to achieve fantastic improvements uh, are, 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 are easy to do um, and just require knowing what to do because most of us do what we know. And the problem is, unfortunately, you know, some of the things we know are incorrect. Uh, but if people really do uh, come to understand what makes a difference, what can influence uh, the changes, uh, that is uh, huge and, and important, and that's kind of what, what I try to convey in the book. So when people buy this book, they have access to the e-book and the videos as well? Uh, they can, no, they have to, they have access to the videos when they buy the book because they have their QR codes built into the book, and if you have a, a phone, a smartphone, or an iPad, or Kindle, and you can have a, a scanner app in there, you can just scan the QR codes and the videos will pop up. And um, just as they would be on the ebook, if you have the ebook, then they're, they're embedded, so they just play along with the color graphics, etc. I love this idea that you just said how, how the, the conventional kind of ideas, the things that we really know for sure, are oftentimes wrong. And if you just look at health statistics, you can tell that obviously something's wrong. We're, obviously what we think we know or what we think is correct is not. Why don't you tell us a couple of things that you consider to be the biggest myths out there as far as conventional wisdom goes, as far as, as especially focusing on doctor wisdom or medical wisdom. What are some of the things that we hear from physicians and, and the mainstream that, in your opinion, are just flat out wrong and not in our interest? or not in our health interest? Well, the first thing is uh, we have immense power to control our destiny. Uh, it's not like it's inevitable. Uh, Genetic, genetics really, you're talking about? Genetic destiny? We, uh, 35% of what happens to us is, is we got from our parents. Uh, but the other 65%, that's the environment, that's everything we've been doing since we've been in the womb until this moment. That's everything we've been eating, drinking, all the exposures we've had, for example, to the radiation, the uh, sunshine, the ultraviolet light, uh, uh, things we breathe, uh, you know, things we take into our body, smoke that we inhale, uh, all the toxins, allergens, all of these things, including the sleep we have or haven't had, the stress that we may or may not have encountered, the exercise that we may or may have uh, not done, um, and then eventually this uh, will translate into uh, things that uh, occur, such as hormonal decline. Uh, all of these things uh, basically dirty up the soup the genes are swimming in, mm. and this will lead to uh, negative expression of many of those genes, and the the essence of Optimal wellness is to clean up that dirty soup and uh, allow your genes to be as positively expressed as possible. That's your best ch shot at optimal wellness and at uh, optimal, you know, longevity. Basically, the uh, your longevity is 
predetermined. I mean, it's not like you we can at this point genetically engineer um, our kind of uh, given uh, optimal mortality. Uh, you know, our cells are pretty well programmed for that. A certain number of replications, and then they reach. Uh, basically pre-programmed cell death, senescence, and then they die. But the idea here is to, you know, be able to extend that in a way that we can live uh, to our maximum uh, and, and still retain as much function, as much youthful vitality, as much ability to work in the world, cognitive uh, and, and also physical function, so that we can have a fuller life. I think that's the essence of what the book talks about. So you think the central dogma, this idea that everything that we that, that is us is programmed into the genes, has done has done a disservice to uh, our ultimate health and and how we how we present in terms of how our lives shape up in terms of our bodies and our biochemistry. Uh, people become like logs in a rapidly moving current uh, because they form habits, and these habits are derived from. You know this this lack of knowledge. The you know the the media, uh, what we learn from our parents who actually only knew what they knew. The culture we're in, uh, the the uh, the exposure we've had uh, because of you know um, advertising of uh, you know people who want to sell us things that may not necessarily be good for us. I think the bottom line there is the, is the term respect. We have to learn how to respect our bodies and to understand that, for example, just when we talk about the, one of the most important elements is nutrition or food, food is medicine. And if we uh, you know, respect food as medicine, this is a new paradigm. People you know, really have not understood this, um, but it's clear. Uh, it's probably the most powerful medicine that you can, I could prescribe to my patients over time because it provides not only all the nutrition, et cetera, but it also can provide all the damage. Um, can be the root of a lot of the in inflammation in our cells that eventually leads to uh, the, these genetic uh, uh, these uh, genetic issues uh, that will eventually lead to a cellular dysfunction, eventually um, disease, and, and etc. So, uh, Doc, Doc, we got to yeah. take a break. I want you to hang on to that thought. I want to address this idea about food as medicine because historically we've really understood this for a long time. Hang tight, Doc. We'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Many Americans suffer from digestive problems, often totally unaware they're not absorbing essential nutrients from foods and supplements. Dr. Peter Glidden is aware of the importance of healing a damaged digestive system. Now, the product that I'm going to talk about today, Mackey Plus, and it is a combination of a superfruit, the Mackey Berry, and aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is a very interesting nutritional supplement to talk about because aloe vera, you know, it's the stuff that you put on your skin if you get a burn. And, man, it really knocks down the pain, the inflammation of the burn and facilitates healing. Well, guess what? It does the same thing internally that it does externally to burns. To soothe and heal your digestive system, order Mackey Plus today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. Uh, we travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and Downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. My name is Frank Bates, and i got a confession to make. Just a few days ago, FEMA went directly to my supplier and tried to buy my entire stockpile of high-quality survival food. It sounds crazy, but I'll show you the exact letter they sent in a minute. Revealing FEMA's plot could land me in hot water, but I think you deserve to know exactly what they're doing. 
Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see undeniable video proof that the government is on the hunt for as much survival food as they can grab in 24 hours. Be warned, it's really disturbing because the fact is FEMA must know something we don't. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see why survival food is the number one item to hoard right now and why supplies are so low or even completely sold out already at many stores across America. Do it now because I don't know how long it will be online, so go to FEMAHatesThis.com while you can. That's FEMAHatesThis.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, LegalShield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. On the bright side, talking to Dr. Andres Berger about his book, The Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Prescription. Doc, before we uh, went to break, you were talking about this idea of using food as medicine and how we, got, how we don't really do that and how people aren't, aren't really hip, on, hip to the idea of using food as medicine. But historically, people have, that's all people did. They used food as medicine. Hippocrates talk, talked about it. What, in your opinion, accounts for this kind of disconnect that's formed over the last century, maybe two centuries, between the idea of using, uh, between the idea of using foods and the idea of using uh, of healing and health and wellness. Well, I think uh, you know society has changed. We've gone from uh, a society of hunters and gatherers into a uh, society of uh, civilized uh, civilization, where uh, many things have changed. One of which has been the uh, the notion of. Uh, the change from using whole foods primarily in a diet to processed foods, I think mm. that's one of the most dangerous things, uh, something we really have to understand. Uh, I think that's number one. Processed foods, first of all, are not natural to our physiology, not natural to our body. Our body has a problem dealing with them because they're just not natural to us, and they contain a lot of other um, elements that are actually toxic, uh, preservatives, dyes, mm-hmm. um, and, um, and and processed chemicals, high fructose corn syrup. Uh, they're high in uh, things that we're allergic to, like um, gluten, gliadin. Uh, they, uh, they, so, uh, in other words, uh, I think the major shift in our diets has been a cultural shift from whole foods, that's foods taken from nature, that we are actually designed to use uh, physiologically, that's how we are designed by nature, versus processed foods. I think that's the number one thing mm-hmm. that has really, um, you know, gotten us into trouble and, uh, you know, really a big problem, one of the main problems we have. And also the abundance of food. It's almost like we all eat out of a bottomless soup bowl every day because, um you know, uh, in the old days, hunters and gatherers, uh, we actually didn't have food every day. We had to go out and right. find it and eat it. Today, you just, you know, you can stock up, fill up the supermarket. So too many calories yeah. and too much processed food. I think those are the two major changes uh, in modern civilization, modern society, that have led to this, you know, huge, huge problem, probably kill more Americans. This I call the, the uh, SAD. 
uh, some people call it the, I call it the SAD diet. Standard uh, American standard diet. Standard American yeah. diet will yeah. probably kill more Americans over time than any terrorist can even attempt to, to, to do. It, that, that is the number one problem. So when you say that, I think, when you say processed food and, and too many calories, I hear, in my head, I hear, well, then if we want to reverse that problem, then we eat more whole foods and we eat less foods. Is that correct? Absolutely. Uh, eat whole foods, organic whole foods, because, you, you know, I guess, again, additives, preservatives, uh, stay from genetically modified foods. Foods, uh, which is, you know, agro, the agro-industrial complex that we form in our society, which is profit-driven, you know, has adulterated foods mostly because of uh, the, the, the fact that this allows them to more mass-produce foods at a lower cost, more profitable. But, again, who the brunt of the, of, of the consequences uh, comes back to us, the consumer that buys this stuff and eats it, with not really respecting and understanding what we're putting into our body. So there's no question whatsoever that this is uh, really, uh, it's like over, if I prescribe a medication to you, you know that you're going to pay attention, you're going to do it like I prescribe, you're going to make sure that you take the dosage I prescribe, etc. But it's the same thing with food. So if mm-hmm. you, you know, if you overdose on food or you underdose, you combine different foods uh, that, you know, uh, w- might be toxic to you. We don't respect food the same way we might respect a, a medication that was prescribed by the doctor, but you need to actually respect food even more because it is actually more powerful and more important for you over time. There's, in other words, there's a biochemical response to the foods that we eat that we don't necessarily take advantage of or respect or leverage or understand. Well, of course. I mean, food is, uh, is, our, is our only source source of, uh, of, of nutrition, of, of all the building blocks that our, that our cells operate with, you know, protein, carbohydrate, fat, uh, and all of the essential minerals and, uh, and vitamins and trace elements, uh, the fiber, all of those things are essential for our body to function optimally. Um, and if we screw the, if we dirty that up by, by using, uh, you know, uh, less than uh, ideal uh, fuel, then you know, obviously lo- the, the, if, you, you, if you have a uh, sports car and you're putting the lowest octane fuel, it's not going to really run very well. And it's, that's the analogy for the body. You can't you can't uh, put uh, you know um, uh, dirty or, or, or poisoned uh, fuel into uh, a system and expect it to uh, optimally function. That's how people have to think about it. People should, before they put anything in their body, they should understand what it is and what are the consequences of it. And then their lives will be much better. And my book does uh, help them understand that. Okay, now, you know, I, I talk to people all the time, as you do, and, and I'd say the same things that you're saying about foods, and you got to respect foods, and you got to watch what you're eating, et cetera. But what do you say to somebody who just can't stop eating the Taco Bell, can't stop eating the fast food? They have this kind of addictive relationship with the things that they're eating, and even though they know they shouldn't be doing it, they're still doing it anyway. Is it just a question of willpower, or are there ways that you can activate centers in the brain or centers in the body without having to use willpower, can exercise help? How can you get people to, to wean themselves off of things they know already? that they shouldn't be doing? Well, uh, obviously you've hit upon a very important point, and that is, you know, you do set up a certain kind of addiction. You know, there's a habit that's formed. Uh, that's a complex, you know, psychological, you know, uh, issue. And also there is a chemical addiction, chemical addic- addiction to the constituents of food, the fat, the sugar, um, that will cause some changes in the neurochemistry of the brain, the appetite centers, etc. There's the gliadin, for example, which is uh, present in most processed foods, present in all wheat products. That actually will stimulate the the, uh, the appetite center and make you eat more food. That was chemically engineered. Uh, you know, a wheat, for example, has been chemically engineered uh, and over time, uh, t- so we can grow more of it. But the the, the problem is gliadin. Uh, the uh, the chemists have discovered uh, does has this effect. So they put this in uh, in all kinds of processed food, uh, you know, as a way people will just eat more or, or etc. So this is this is what we're faced with: uh, chemical addiction and psychological addiction due to habit. Also, food for many people is used as a coping mechanism. We have, live in a, a society mm-hmm. where um, there's a lot of stress. And for many people, uh, they, they use food as a kind of way of quelling. Self-medication. Self-medication. Their medication. They medicate themselves like a, an antidepressant, an anti-anxiety medication, mm-hmm. etc. So uh, people, you know, first of all, you can't help people 
that are, uh, can, are unwilling to help themselves. This is a real challenge, and it's very problematic. Um, so the process has to start, you know, very fundamentally. It has to start with education. It's a you know, societal problem, et cetera. But as, at one person at a time, anybody who is ready and willing and committed to change can do it. But if you're not ready, willing, and able and committed to change, then it becomes an almost impossible task, and you're basically – going to continue to be the log in the rapidly moving current. It's hard to get enough kinetic energy to pull yourself out of a, kinet- out of a current if you're just a log. So you I'm saying willingness. That. Willingness is the first you, thing. No, you, have, it, you cannot, like anything else in life, if you're ready and totally committed, then there's no reason you can't be successful. But if you're not truly you know, at the point where you've decided and totally committed, the chances of your success are quite limited. And that's a, that's a very important factor. If somebody's dealing with some kind of long-term chronic degenerative crisis, in your opinion, is it something, that they, assuming they're willing, is it something they can turn around in a matter of days, weeks, months, or is it something that it's going to take longer than that? Well, um, when you say turn around, that's that's a broad question. Begin uh, to turn it around. It, Begin it can to... be, you know, so everything can be positively influenced in some way or another. And, you know, there's there's no, I mean, that's very simplistic uh, to say, oh, yes, and very simple to turn around in weeks. That's, everything can be improved. But, you know, uh, the, we are very complex physiological beings, you know, human beings. And so if you, if you want to improve, if you want to get the maximum improvement in, a, in this kind of a uh, condition, a degenerative condition or chronic condition, you have to clean up the dirty soup entirely. You have to go from all kinds of angles. So you have to deal with all of the kind of foundational things that's nutrition, uh, stress, sleep, exercise, toxicities, detoxification, all those things that cause inflammation. You have to look at the balance of hormones and make sure people have, you know, a hormonal balance. You have to look at the gut, the immune system. I mean, if, so if you are able, as I do in my practice, to thoroughly kind of look at all these things and then step by step, you know, clean it up and optimize them, then you have your best shot and you can be very successful in, uh, uh, in improving uh, as much as humanly possible these, these conditions. Doc, so that's got to be, that, that's gotta be the last word. We're flat out out of time. Uh, how do people get more information real quick in about five or ten seconds? Uh, they can uh, go to www.rejuvalife.md or they can go to Amazon, dot, Amazon and uh, the book is available and also to nice. iTunes. Bye. Thank you so much, Doctor. It's been great talking to you. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey Guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey Light, the Berkey Guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey Guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.